Hi, this is Craig Stocks, and this is my photo critique of the day. Today's photo is a wonderful still life that shows a, a scene, looks like in a seamstress shop or something related to sewing. Uh, we have a tape measure that looks like it's wrapped around the uh, vertical part of a, a bench or a toolbox or something that probably that a seamstress would use. Uh, wonderful scene. Uh, you know, the photographer really has a good eye to be able to pick out a, a little vignette of what's probably a chaotic scene and focus in on just this little detail. So, very nice scene. I'm also really attracted to the color combination that just like we have contrast in tones, we have contrast in colors. And here we have the contrast of these warm tones of the bench against the blue tones in the background. And that creates a nice color contrast that's very pleasing, gives it a very pleasing palette. I also like the shapes of the lines, that we have diagonal lines which add interest and power. And those diagonal lines are framing the main subject, which would be the, the center part here. And this is where the real focus of the image is located. And it's also very nicely and crisply in focus, so very well done there. I also like the way the diagonal lines over here echo the shape and the pattern of the top of the toolbox. So that adds interest and repetition, which is an interesting element. Uh, I also like the way these lines kind of swirl in. So we've got a lot of lines leading the viewer's eye in again to the main subject area. There are a couple things that I would consider doing to this image. Uh, one might be to crop a little bit looser, especially at the top. Uh, we've got a couple of elements in the picture that are bumping into the edge of the frame. We've got a very strong vertical and diagonal line here and a highlight at the top that leads us right to the edge of the frame. And then also this part of the tape along the back is a very bright area and it leads us right up and right along the edge of the frame. So if there's room to crop a little bit higher to give room for this, this thought or shape to complete itself within the frame, I think that would make the image feel a little bit more settled, uh, kind of like you have over here, where the, these angles are able to complete themselves within the frame. Uh, or down here, the angle is completely cropped out, so it's not leading you out of the frame. And also it's darker down here, so that helps avoid leading the eye out of the frame. The other thing to consider might be the uh, brightness and the little burning and dodging. Uh, if we look at the histogram, again we're looking at it in Lightroom, uh, we can see that the image is made up mostly of mid-tones and quarter tones. Uh, there's not a lot of three-quarter tones and really very little approaching pure white. And if you inspect the image, what you find is those brightest areas are actually this part of the tape over here and some of the specular reflections along the edge of the top here. And that's really not the subject. And so that's not where we want to draw the eye. We want to draw the eye more to the center where it's nice and sharp. And you know, this is really the subject of the image, not this. So one way to address that would be by doing a little local brightening and darkening. In this case, we could use something like the radial filter and put a spot here in the center and brighten the center a little bit and maybe even pull up the whites just a little to give that tape a little bit more pop there. And then add another radial filter and darken this area and particularly by darkening the highlights we take some of that contrast away from the edge here. And that really puts a lot more focus to the center rather than along the edge. And you really could do the same same thing up here with this part of the tape, uh, possibly by using the brush tool and brush over the tape and then pull down the whites to take some of the contrast out of that and avoid leading the viewer's eye out and keep it a little bit more focused into the center. If we just look at a quick before and after, that was before and that's after. So before and after. So something like that might help direct the gaze more to the center of the image, which is really where the focus lies. But overall, I think this is a very nicely done image. Uh, let me reset it here. Uh, 
really like the scene, like the way the lines lead the viewer's eye into the center, like the color contrast. Uh, so overall I think it's a nice successful image and one that uh, you should be proud of. Uh, again, I want to remind people, if you have images you'd like to submit, feel free to send them to me in a uh, Facebook message, or you can find my email address on my website, and be happy to include more images and more kinds of images. Thanks, and have a great day.